Hey guys, Baron here, back with another LEGO review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a DC Comics LEGO Super Heroes set. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is a set that just came out. It's actually the uh, first set that we're actually going to get for Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. It's actually a really cool set. This is set number 76044. They're calling it the Clash of the Heroes. It's actually uh, retails for uh, $12.99 and uh, contains 92 pieces. It's a really cool uh, tinier set. To, uh, to get both the brand new uh, minifigures for Batman and for Superman. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, both of the things that we get. We get a, um, go ahead and take a look first at the uh, build, the kind of main rooftop battle build that we get here, and we'll go ahead and set our minifigures on the side. It's a uh, cool little uh, tiny rooftop kind of scene that they've put up here. Uh, it's got a cool little, uh, bunch of cool little play features, and at the same time it's also, um, Sort of this this uh, this main plate here is an eight by eight plate, and they kind of extend it by two on the back. So um, this actually is a really cool uh, kind of rooftop uh, rooftop construction that uh, most people could probably use if they've already made um, Lego cities or an MOC kind of like a, like a skyscraper. So I'm definitely already have a couple ideas about what to do with that in my own Lego city. So we can go ahead and take a look at the first of the play features. We have a kind of like a front kind of barricade here. It's also got these front kind of like um, kind of movable rotating, um, I'm not sure if they're like guns or if they're kind of lights or what they are, but they're um, kind of these light gray lightsaber hilts here it's supposed to, uh, to be some kind of like little guns here on this walkway. Also get these like um, these tall, either these uh, are supposed to be either antennas or um, they could also be uh, the heat laser beams from uh, from Superman. and. Um, on the right side here, we get a kind of movable uh, and also can turn the uh, printed bat symbol here. This is the new kind of uh, kind of really short ears, kind of Frank Miller style uh, Batman uh, logo there. And um, it's cool they have it on the uh, on the bat signal there. You can turn both ways and uh, kind of rotate out a little bit. Also, the uh, the way it's constructed, if you rotate it all the way around. This uh, it's actually built on a uh, kind of a flick fire missile, so you could uh, actually bust out the light if you wanted to, and just have it have it broken. On the uh, on the back here, there's also another little uh, play feature. It looks like another little uh, kind of lever mechanism here, where you could stand. Uh, you could probably stand Batman over here and uh, kind of hit that lever on the back, and that would go ahead and uh, pop him off and uh, knock him knock him over there. On the other side here, on uh, I guess this would be on either Superman's corner or Batman's corner of the roof. Uh, we have a little assembly out here to the side to uh, signify, kind of like a, kind of looks like a um, a kryptonite crystal here, and then also a box in the bottom containing some more uh, green, um, more green stud rounds. Now I'm not sure if um, if this is supposed to be like, uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a kryptonite round uh, that Batman has. Uh, now if we look at his minifigure, he has a uh, in his uh, kind of gun, whatever that is, the uh, grappling gun, or if it's a kryptonite gun, I'm not sure. It has uh, it has green rounds, so that's um, kind of interesting to note. Also, this front entire piece here is on a kind of a one stud breakaway, so Superman uh, could easily just kind of rip this whole piece off and uh, expose more of the roof to uh, to fight Batman. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the minifigures that we get. And both of these minifigures are brand new for 2016. They uh, have a lot of really cool printing on them. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at those. The first one they get is the new Ben Affleck Batman. He's got his uh, dark pearl gray armor. And uh, it's really, really cool, this minifigure. Um, all new color for him. And also has this uh, giant uh, kind of brick built. It's got the kind of classic stud shooter on the front. And there's another, like kind of like a grappling um, grappling gun piece on the back there. And if you look at this, it's actually kind of comical. If you pop the gun off here and look at the size comparison, this gun is probably a, probably like two plates or maybe one brick uh, shorter than Batman's entire body. So I thought that was kind of funny. And um, he has the kind of standard cowling here. We pop that off, and it's actually a uh, this, this white part here for the uh, kind of the head wrap is um, is actually a glow in the dark piece. So kind of as we see in the trailer of uh, Batman v Superman, uh, when Batman's kind of looking up in the rain, uh, he's got the um, he 
uh, has his kind of like mechanical suit on. And when we um, see his eyes, they're kind of lit up like that. So you can kind of kind of get that same. Not sure if we can get it here. Let's see if we can see if I can charge it up real quick and see if we can get a little bit of a glow in the dark bit here. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. It's probably too low lighting. But uh, but yeah, the uh, the back piece here also has a uh, kind of that lighter pearl gray battering that uh, is kind of a new coloring for that piece. I'm not sure if we've got that before in that same color. And then we also have a uh, a grapple. Here on the back now it, it, it is one of the classic style ones that uh, that could have that thread on it but uh, they don't actually uh, they don't actually give us the stud shooter that would that shoot that so that's all right though we can still use that in in many ways and then uh, this is the this is that same gun that I was talking about that that we're still kind of unsure at this time um, at the time of recording this it's only uh, uh, halfway through January so uh, Batman versus Superman is not quite out yet, and we're still not sure what that what that gun is. But uh, it's a very cool little little mini build there for that grappling gun or whatever it is. And then we will also take a look at the Henry Cavill version of Superman. This is a really cool new version of Superman that has the um, a lot more detailing on his uh, on the print on his torso. Now this is a different camera that I'm shooting this on than um, than we've had in the past, so we may not be able to get a good good enough focus on that. But the um, the cape is uh, the same really really soft cape that they had in the uh, the Brainiac uh, attack set that came out in 2014. And uh, this is the I think it's the same. It might be the same face printing as before with the double sided face where he's got the kind of red X ray eyes there. And then it's also a new hair, uh, a new kind of quaffed uh, hair piece there for uh, sort sort of like uh, what we see uh, Superman has in the new kind of Man of Steel Zack Snyder universe. So very cool, very cool way to get soups there, and uh, very interesting. Both the uh, minifigures look really good compared to uh, their uh, their last generations right before the movie came out. So. Uh, Right at the uh, right at the twelve uh, twelve ninety nine price point, this is actually a great way to get both uh, the Batman and Superman figures without getting any larger sets. And uh, as far as a uh, great set to kick off twenty sixteen, I thought this was a great representation of uh, the kind of great sets that we'll be seeing from Lego. It seems like they might be going in a slightly uh, less uh, huge sets and more small, better sets. So that's definitely great. That's that's one thing I've always been campaigning Lego to do. So. Um, Definitely wanted to show this set off and uh, tell us what you think. Be sure to leave a comment below and uh, be sure to hit a like and subscribe if you haven't already. You'll be seeing all the content coming from us very soon. You guys be sure to have a great day.